In the following set of tutorials, we're going to take a look at some skills that you need for this next assignment. So in SketchUp, I'm going to show you just a couple quick things. One of the things that I want you to be aware of is this thing called interference. So I'm going to just create a very simple um, extruded box here. And you'll notice that, you know, anytime we use the push-pull tool, it goes right along that normal. And that's basically locking its interference to that particular normal. Now what if we want to move this object? You'll notice that it will automatically snap to different axes that um, I kind of travel along. But you can actually use the helper keys, the up arrow, which locks you to the blue axis, the left arrow, which, blocks, which locks you to the green axis, and the right arrow, which locks you to the red axis, so that it will only move along that particular axis. And that's really helpful because you're locking the interference. Now, you can also lock interference when you draw, such as I want to draw something that is going to be actually along, it's going to be the same uh, side of that face. So if I try and just draw, you'll see that it, it doesn't want to really snap to any in particular place. Usually it's going to snap to that blue, which is whatever is going to be down. So I'd really like to lock it to that face. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to the face and actually hold down the shift key, then move away from the face and start to draw again. What well, actually, there we go. Let's do it again. Now I'll move away and notice now it's actually locking my interference so that it will actually fit the uh, same dimensions or same direction as that face. So if I wanted to do one maybe that's on this direction, I'll click on the shift key, move away from the face, and draw, and you'll see it's actually aligned with that face. Now this is um, not the easiest example to understand, so here's a pretty common one. One common one is when you want to draw two circles that bisect each other, one way to do it is to rotate your view so that you, you get a different axis. The other way to do it is to lock your interference by pressing down the shift key, moving to your object, and then trying to draw your new bisecting circle. Now this is useful when you're trying to actually create a sphere and you need two circles that um, are going to be right on top of each other. So draw your first circle, lock your interference to the other, go back, draw your second one, You've got your two interlocking circles. Now you do the follow me path, which is not easy at all. But somehow this follow me path will make us be able to create a sphere if we do it just right. And of course, it never happens just right. But somehow it works, and I can get a perfect sphere sometimes. Other times I can't. But at least I got something there that shows that we've made a sphere. It takes a little bit of time. Now, another thing that I want you to notice is, do you see these dotted lines there? Those dotted lines are basically invisible lines that we're not seeing. And that's because we have a smooth uh, model here on the outside. I want to kind of show you how to create that. And you'll see another reason that we might use this later on. So I'm going to create um, a couple lines that go across here. And if I were to press the um, regular uh, delete tool, or erase tool, you'll see that that line disappears. Now if I do it on a corner, it'll actually delete the object. But I can actually delete that line from the object by holding down the control key or the shift key when I click on it, which actually just hides that line, but doesn't actually delete it. Oops, actually there are two. Now that I look at it, um, I've got the shift key. When I hold the shift key down, it actually deletes the line, but it, it keeps it like a hard edge. And when I use the control key, it does a soft or smooth edge. And you can notice how those are rendering different on screen here. So pretty cool um, to know that. And we're actually going to revisit this when we look at materials in just a minute. So uh, go ahead and play around with um, SketchUp with these tools and then uh, go on to the next tutorial.